Hello there, my name is Plumby, and today I'm going to be bringing you all a creator sim of a fairy named Moss. I had so much fun today because I have not created a fairy sim in so very long, I can't remember the last time I made a sim who was a fairy, so I had such a fun time today. I don't usually make um, fantasy type of sims, despite really, really loving everything fantasy, I suppose. I love fairies, I love elves, I love all of that. I love fairy tales. So I'm so very surprised that I, I haven't created a sim like this because it's right down my alley, but I haven't before. So I'm very excited to be bringing this creator sim to you guys today. And I want to say thank you to uh, Dixie Peach Sims for reaching out and asking to collab because today's Kaz is a collab. The theme of this collab was actually recommended by Dixie Peach Sims. So thank you so much for recommending that we do fairy sims because I loved creating Moss, the name of the fairy that I created today. I'll be leaving a link in the description box to Dixie Peach's video and also their channel. I do recommend you check out their videos and they have also recently made a legacy challenge, their own legacy challenge. So if you'd like to check out their new Let's Play for that, I'll also leave a link to that Let's Play as well. But yeah, thank you ever so much for reaching out and asking if we could do a collab together because I really love doing collabs with other simmers because I just think it's so fun and I love how their fairy sim did turn out because we each created a fairy. Their fairy looks so very wonderful. I just had so much fun today so yeah thank you ever so much Dixie Peach Sims for doing a collab with me. So as I did say the fairy that I created today is called Moss. Now her surname is Bramblewood but I like to imagine that she doesn't have a surname because she just is like a magical being and maybe Moss isn't even her name. Maybe she doesn't even have a name but I thought the name Moss suited her the most. Although she is a fairy I kind of took a lot of inspiration from like nymph as well. I didn't just want to create like a fairy, I wanted to create just like a magical creature in general, so I kind of, you know, mixed fairy, kind of maybe a little bit of like a nymph maybe in that, I don't know, I just thought that was kind of like a fun mix, and I wanted to create her in a way where she is very earthy, because she in my head is like an earth fairy, you know, a fairy of the deep woodland of Bramblewood in Hemford on Bagley, so I did call her Moss of Bramblewood because she's from Bramblewood in the deepest part of the forest. Moss is not very trusting of humans at all, as most fairies are. They don't trust humans very much, but Moss even more so because Moss was actually caught by humans once and she was kind of taken in by humans or hunters, I should say, and they, they were not very kind to her whatsoever. They were very horrible to her. And you can actually see on her cheek, she has a scar because I wanted to show that, you know, maybe she when they caught her with the net or whatever, it did, you know, cause a cut on her face and which of course turned into a scar. So you can see from that, that she has been hurt by humans before. Luckily, she did manage to escape and return to the deep woodlands but she has kind of been not only scarred in the physical sense but also scarred in the mental sense because she's now very very afraid of humans. I gave her the paranoid trait to reflect this and also the loner trait to reflect reflect this. She's never been a very social fairy either with the other fairy rings. She has always kind of, you know, lived on the outside of them, kind of keeping to herself. She never really felt as if she fit in with the other fairies. She always felt as if she was just inferior to them. So she always, you know, stayed out of their way. And growing up as well, she was, you know, made fun of the other fairies because she just wasn't as majestic. Now, I think Moss is very majestic, but <laughs> I suppose the fairies didn't think that she was very majestic in a fairy sense. So she was always kind of, you know, put to the side. I would say that she doesn't have much magical powers either. I didn't make her a spellcaster, but you know, she has some magical powers. She isn't a very, I suppose, powerful fairy as well. So I suppose that's another reason why she probably feels very inferior so she very much keeps to herself very much hidden in the woods staying away from the other fairy circles she of course is an animal lover and she spends most of her time just being with the animals in the woodland collecting things she loves collecting things she loves finding mushrooms and stones and rocks in the rivers and collecting them and showing them to the birds and the squirrels and stuff so despite being very secluded i would say she's still happy she does have those gloomy days i did give her the gloomy trait you know she's she's not a very happy fairy and that kind of breaks my heart because moss is so lovely and so sweet but she definitely isn't very happy just from her past but she is she's found peace though like she feels at peace unless she has a human <laughs> but she feels at peace most of the time which is good and that is moss of bramblewood so i hope you guys like her i think she's so lovely and so stunning and i had such a fun time as well picking out the custom content that i use for her this morning i went on a little cc shop for fairy custom content big shout out to eliandra actually because i found a lot of the cc i, I used on moss 
Moss from her Supernatural CC video. I'll leave a link to that in the description box. I love her wings. I love her ears as well. I think her ears are so very precious. Also, all of her CC links, including her tray files, are all going to be linked in the pinned comment in the comment section. And she is also on the gallery under my origin ID, Real Plum B, if you are interested in downloading her for yourself or grabbing any of her custom content. The hairs I went for are absolutely stunning. They're really long and beautiful. They're all by a Simandi and I actually went with different eyes today. I went with these big, shiny, adorable, adorable eyes, which I just think really add to her whole look and I just I love her. I also went with a body preset which is actually a fairy body preset so it makes her super duper small. I already have the height slider mod but I wanted to get a preset for this to make her even more smaller and dainty and she's just so tiny and so like fairy like which I just love so very much. I created three outfits for Moss today. Let me know your favorite one in the comment section down below. My favorite one will have to be her first everyday wear. I think it is just so lovely but I'm really proud of her other two as well. I just had so much fun today <laughs> finding the custom content, creating Moss, creating her story. I had like a an album that I put on that kind of reminded me of fairies I suppose or something ethereal and magical that I kind of had playing whilst I created her which just like inspired me a lot more with her story and with the kind of vibe that I wanted to go for when making her so it was just a lot of fun. I really 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 want to do this again. I really want to create like an an elven person one day or an elven sim one day. I really want to make another fairy. I want to make like a woodland creature, a goblin. I don't know. I just want to make more fun fantasy sims because this was so fun and I, I love, as I did say in the beginning, I love everything to do with fantasy. I love fairies, fairy tales. They really are a huge, huge, huge part of my life. So yeah, I want to incorporate more of this into my channel. As I did say, thank you ever so much Dixie Peach Sims for reaching out and asking to do a collab. This was ever so fun. As I did say, I'll leave a link to their channel in the description box down below. I do urge you to check them out and let me know what you think about Moss and this crate sim in the comment section down below. And if you did enjoy, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe. We'd love to have you join the Plum family and I'll be seeing you all in the next video.